crap. Guy had to work on my car. Missed me. Moving on. Yay. I think we're about a week away from firing her up this weekend. Fingers crossed. Big order coming in um, tomorrow. So that'll probably be uploaded Saturday ish. Um, we're going to get to it. Went ahead and assembled the front end here. All brand new, good looking stuff. Ooh wee. The new radiator bracket is all done. On the overflow, I welded on these tubes and then welded a nut to it. Up right there, the lower one. And then up, up here, the newer one. That way it kind of looks sleek and simple from the front. I wanted to go with something that you could, that you look at it and it looks good from all angles. I wanted something that wasn't too awkward when you look at it. Back in college, we used to have a, a teacher that would say, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. The thing is, a simple philosophy of keeping it simple, stupid, is to help yourself not overcomplicate things. I'm going to do the easiest designs as possible. So if you have to make an emergency repair or to go somewhere else for a fix, they don't got to overthink it. Now, I'm not no engineer by trade. For heaven's sakes, I'm a truck driver. I'm not even a mechanic anymore. Hey guys, didn't tell you, I bought a new starter. And it looks great. Cheapest high torque starter I've ever bought. Maybe you guys ever get a little too excited on the starting line and actually end up breaking or bending your um, throttle? Me neither. It definitely doesn't look twice the size. So I was fabricating uh, a piece of tube that goes up and over um, on the gearbox. I have a power steering style gearbox for my El Camino. It's not a manual. So to save some money, what I did is I actually built uh, like a bypass tube. So it uses the factory metal slash uh, rubber lines, the, <laughs> the hydraulic ones. Uh, so what I did, so what I did is I, I, take, I took both lines and then I TIG welded them so they're sealed. And then that way I can use the same gearbox and it just bolts in normally. That way debris and other garbage can't get inside of it. It keeps it uh, working smooth without any clunks or like uh, grindiness inside because of the debris. So works out really well. I like it. It turned out really good. For those of you that have not used Teflon tape to seal water jackets or temperature sensors, this right here is a roll of Teflon tape. To install it, you put it on the nut, just wrap it around like that, and you just turn the nut. When you turn the nut, you're going the direction that it threads in. So if it's right hand thread, you do it like this. 
If it's a left hand thread, you do it the opposite way. But the difference being, you need to do it the direction the nut is following. So if you turn it the opposite direction, it actually builds up like a roll of material and that's where it's gonna leak. Or this way, it follows the threads and it seals the threads as it goes in the hole. So what do you guys think of the car on the ground? She looks pretty sweet. It's sitting way better with the new springs and the shocks in that actually function properly in proper 90-10. Um, so this year it'll have some better weight transfer. We're gonna grease all the fittings, every single fitting on the car to keep it fresh and new, once again, like the rest of everything. But, it's so good. It is so good, guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the car, how it's coming along. As of right now, let's do a montage. Thanks for watching guys. That's a wrap for this episode. I hope you like what you've seen. Next episode, I think we're gonna have some uh, better content. I think there's a secret on its way. We got a ton of new parts coming in. And hopefully, that thing might be moving under its own power. For that though, I think that's it. You guys have a wonderful night. Please like, comment, share. And if you guys want, a chance to win a $300 when I hit a thousand subscribers. Subscribe down below, click that red button, and then the notification bell on the side. That way you guys get notified when I post a new video. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. Build it, make it yours.